What's up guys? Today we're gonna talk about how you can get some of the best list, right, to target for your real estate investing business and you also can get these lists for free. Let's talk about it. What's up guys, it's your boy Sawan Lamar Belcher, a full-time real estate investor here in Greensboro, North Carolina. And today I wanna to talk about a very great topic that new and, um, and current real estate investors need to know and need to be implementing. Now, you know, one thing that we're always, you know, that's always like on the back burner um, uh, that we need to pay more attention to is how much we're actually spending in marketing. Because let's be serious, we have to market in order to maximize this business, but we can't overspend on marketing because our average deal size has to be able to cover that expense of the marketing, okay? Hope that makes sense. So if we're making like a, a $10,000 deal, right, and we use $1,000 of, uh, of that for marketing to get another $10,000 deal, that makes sense. But if we're spending $2,000 to make $5,000, then that starts to not make as much since okay so today i want to give you three free lists okay what the lists are how you can actually you know get them you know where to get them from and then how to use them so that way you all can start getting deals within the next 30 days okay now the first one is the probate list okay the first one is the probate list or the inheritance list you know, um, or the heirs list, you know, you might see that someplace as well. But essentially, probate is the legal process um, of how heirs um, redeem the legacy, you know, that your, you know, that your descendants left behind. Okay, so whenever someone passes away, um, they'll leave behind bank accounts, they'll leave behind debt, um, they'll also leave behind vehicles, bank accounts, houses, uh, and the process of the heirs getting those things, you know, getting those things in their names, right? Them taking control of ownership of those things is the process of probate. Now, this process t is a little differently in, in, uh, in every state, uh, but essentially, you know, it could take about 30 to 90 days to, to get this process all the way through. The good thing about probates is that this list is at the courthouse, okay? Most of the time, your courthouse is gonna be specific to your area, of course. So you're gonna to have to do some research. The thing about free list is they're a little harder to find, but once you find them, um, they're gonna be a lot better leads because most people aren't taking their energy, they're not taking their time to, uh, to go find these lists. A lot of people, especially you know, after you've been doing it for a few years and your, your income starts to go up, it's easier just to spend the money versus spending the time. You can find this list at your courthouse. Now, you might have to physically go to your courthouse or you might have to go online and search through the courthouse records online. It's just gonna depend on your county. Now, when you start asking people at the county office about this particular list, um, remember that they're there to get $10 an hour. They're there to get you know, a paycheck, to clock in and clock out. They're there to do whatever their particular job is. So if you ask them a question and it doesn't seem like you're in the right place, you need to question, um, you need to question their perspective. Your perspective of going down to the courthouse is that I am a millionaire, right? And I am looking for investment property to invest in, right? So even if you're not a millionaire yet, you need to first be, you know, so become the person you wanna be. So, so you're thinking I'm coming down to the courthouse because I'm looking for off-market potential, off-market investments that could bring me a million dollars in potential. So if somebody that has a $10 mentality tells you something that you know you know, may or may not be true. Like, hey, we don't have any probate list here. Well, this is the courthouse. When people die and I need to, you know, get my father's bank account into my name, how do I do that? I don't just go to the bank. <laughs> you know, there's, I, I have to go through a legal process. And where is legal stuff done? The courthouse, okay? So if somebody says, oh, we don't have any probate list here, you know, you might wanna just go ask somebody else. You need to check yourself maybe say an affirmation to yourself so you can keep you know that volume up keep that potential up and go ask somebody else until 
you find what you need. Don't leave the courthouse until you find what you need. Second best list is a free list is the code violations list. Code violations are, are simply like little rules that your city will put in place in order to keep the value of the city growing. And if people happen to you know, not obey these rules, then the city will find them. Okay, so um, physical distress to the house, maybe the roof has fallen in, or maybe there's a bunch of trash in the yard, or maybe even you have commercial equipment on a residential, you know, uh, you know, on a residential land. Um, that could all be code violations. And signs that the property will have code violations is you'll see some kind of notice sticking in the yard, all right, or maybe even on the door of the house. Now in Guilford County, those signs are typically yellow um, or white. In Forsyth County, another county that I work, the signs are typically red, you know, and then in Rockingham County, the signs are typically like either yellow or blue. So your county, once again, will be specific on what you actually see. But I promise if you drive around enough, okay, if you drive around enough, you'll actually see that, okay? Um, now with code violations, okay, with code violations, you know that these people, for whatever reason, are going through some kind of hardship. Maybe they don't have financial distress, but the property has physical distress, okay? So when you call these people, you don't wanna bring out their pain. You want them to tell you their pain because you don't wanna start labeling these people and you're labeling the wrong thing. Next thing you know, you offended someone and for the logical thinker, he's never talking to you again because he knows more than you. So when you approach code violations, never, never, never mention the pain point, always present yourself in a general way. So if you're gonna market to the code violations list via um, cold calling, then you might just want to say, hey, man, I was just calling you out of the blue. Just want to see if you want to sell this property. You know, hey, man, I was just driving down the street and I saw the, uh, you know, the roof needs a little help. You know, I wanted to see if you was open to selling to an investor who's open to um, fixing up the neighborhood. You want to be super general. When he gives you the pain, then you can dig into it. OK, then you can dig into it. And the last one we've already mentioned, I don't know if you guys caught on to it, but the last one where you can get a free motivated seller list so you can make your first five, ten, fifteen thousand dollar check um, is driving for dollars. Okay, now driving for dollars 20 years ago was actually very tedious. You would drive around, you would need to have a notebook, you'd write the address down if you could find the address, because a lot of these vacant houses don't have numbers on them. Okay, you write the address down, you bring the address back home, go on the county website, look up the owner's name, okay, and then boom, you finally have the owner's information. Now, that whole process of finding the property, driving around, bringing that information back home and researching it could take you, you know, 45 minutes to an hour. Nowadays, in 2022, we have this app called Deal Machine, okay? Deal Machine essentially allows you to press one button to find your exact location and then it'll point you to the house that you're sitting in front of right there and then another click of a button you can find the owner's name phone number where they live now and their email address so with two clicks so in a matter of seconds you can have the owner information for a property uh, that you see that has physical distress in the area now since you have this app now that allows you to the phone number, the mailing address, and the email, that is way more easier, way easier to now market via phone, via text messaging, and mail all in one app so you can market more, so you can make more offers, and essentially get more deals under contract, okay? Now, if this video was helpful to you, all right, about how you can start marketing to motivated sellers for free, uh, definitely hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm gonna show you another little video right here of how I actually made $28,000 um, doing this business, showing you guys how you can do it too, all right? Talk to you soon, guys. Have a blessed day, peace.